Okay, so we're gonna put you back. Is this fine? I think that's good. All right, let's do this. What's up, Library Nation? What's up, guys? So we are on our way back to Denver, Colorado in our new Ram 3500, a.k.a. Child Support. And we are towing our also new, well, not new, it's used, but new to us, our 37-foot PJ Gooseneck trailer that we will be putting both our Jeep Wrangler, the stepchild, and the Jeep Gladiator, which we'll be picking up in Denver here very soon, that we will also be building and giving away later onto. So we're, we're on our way to do that. But before we do that, we had a very specific challenge given to us in our last video from Mr. Roman over at TFL. What was the challenge, Kevin? So he said once we're hooked up with the trailer that uh, they have the gauntlet, which is just before the Eisenhower Tunnel heading east. I think it's like seven miles. We exit the highway and then get back on the on-ramp and right where the merge sign's at, you punch it, like you kind of slow down and you punch it, get up to 65 miles an hour and try to hold 65 miles an hour the whole time if the truck can do it. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, the Eisenhower Memorial Tunnel is the highest elevation vehicular tunnel in the world. It's at just over 11,000 feet of elevation. And the road leading up to it on the east side is a 7% grade, which is the most steep grade that you can legally have on any US highway. So. The challenging part about that is we're at high elevation and you're not gonna have the power that you would have down low. So like it, at, yeah, at sea, sea level. level. So this truck makes a thousand foot pounds of torque. God, this thing rides like an empty dump truck empty. Yeah. I know we've, we've said this, but uh, okay. So at, at sea level, it makes a thousand foot pounds of torque. At 11,000 feet, I would bet it's only making like 700 maybe. I don't know, seven, 800? Definitely not at peak power at 11,000 feet of elevation. No. So according to Roman, a good time to have, you basically pull off at Silverthorne and you punch it from that on-ramp right there. From that on-ramp all the way to the second set of lights right before the tunnel, eight minutes at holding 65 miles an hour. Eight minutes is considered a good time. Right, so if the truck can hold it if, up that yeah. way and getting up to 65 miles an hour in yeah. a reasonable speed, yeah. the only issue we might have today Saturday. It's Saturday and this is I-70 we're talking about. If you don't uh, live in Colorado, you've never driven on I-70. This is... We're Vail yeah, it's, and Breckenridge and everything. It's happened, littered so. with all of your skiing towns and it is the weekend and this highway is notorious for the worst possible traffic ever. So hey, give us your times. What do you think we'll make? Can we make the eight minutes? Let us know in the comments can below. We, go, can we beat the eight minutes if I speed? I don't think know, we're going to beat speed. the eight. No, you got to try to hold speed. 65. I, I don't think we... If that, honestly... I don't think it'll struggle necessarily hold 65, but I don't think it'll easily surpass 65 miles an hour going uphill like that. We'll, well see. Here, show them right here. Look at all the people getting on the highway. Oh God, no. This, this is what we were talking about. Oh no. Literally as we were talking we were, about We were literally free and clear <laughs> two seconds ago. Uh, oh, this might not be a thing. I could just push everybody out of the way. No, you <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a ram with a thousand pounds of torque. That's not how that works. That's why works. it's called a ram, Brittany. I don't you think just that's ram people out of the way. I don't think that's accurate at all. Right. I don't. I don't think they named it a ram with the intent for you to ram people. Yeah, off the road, like get out of my way. I've got torque. You don't move. <laughs> that's not how that works. All right, so we're about ten minutes from the exit we're supposed to take. That traffic's kind of lightening up, and I think it opens up into three lanes right beforehand. So hopefully, 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 we can we can set about trying to conquer this challenge. All right, so we just took the Silverthorne exit. We're about to hit one of those really weird, ridiculous on-ramp red lights, and from there we're gonna punch it. Yep, ready. I've got the timer. Set. Oh god, your phone's so big. Ready? Oh god, go, go, go! Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh, spun it. We spun tire. We spun tire. <laughs> so dumb. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to reset the miles per gallon. There we go. That's all right. We'll just we'll monitor it uh, manually. That's how you want to hit 60 or 65. Or 58, or 59, 60, 60. 1, 60, 2, 3, 3 4, 4, 5. five. All, right, all right. Maintain 65. Cruise control. Cruise control. We'll set it and let's, we'll let the tr 
truck maintain it. Try not to, you know, hopefully no one gets in front of us, slows down. Hopefully we don't hit traffic. Uh, weirdly enough, we did not check the traffic. <laughs> Again, we don't adult well, so we'll see. Good boy. Okay, so as I thought, going up this, um, the, the 1,000 foot-pounds of torque is at 33 PSI. We're only seeing 20 to 22 PSI max at full throttle. You can see the boost right now. Gauge 20, right there. 20 pounds of boost, 19. Boost pressure. So like as we're climbing an elevation, oh god, it's kind of uh, dropping in, in boost pressure. So that's going to drop the the available torque output. But we're maintaining 67 so far. Yeah, it is. It is maintaining speed. We're so far, 90, so well. We're towing 9,600. Pounds. Yeah, the trailer weighs 9,600. 93 and 9,000 pounds and some change. Although the trailer is empty at the moment, it's still quite a bit. There's a joint on the corner where the big boys play, where the whiskey is running at the ribbon, but they all never come for the booze and face. I'm the one, I'm the lady that'll rock this place. Oh no! <laughs> no! That was short. That didn't last but maybe a mile or two. Well, can't always have fun. <laughs> I'd like to think the world is our playground, but uh, unfortunately, That's we have to share it with other people. We have to share it with other people. <laughs> we sorry. kind of foresaw this. We thought that there's yeah. like an 80% chance this would happen. I'm but. sorry to whoever is in an accident. Hopefully, you're okay. We can't do the Eisenhower Gauntlet. Well, we can. We just won't be this time around. Next time we do it, it'll be loaded with a gladiator and a. Oh, yeah, and that's and true. So it'll be even harder because we'll be fully loaded the next time. Just for and giggles, though. I'm only the timer running so we can see how long, <laughs> <laughs> with traffic, it'll take us to reach the tunnel. minutes and 27 seconds. It's only a couple seconds off of the eight minutes. Yeah, we're, we're only a little slower than eight minutes. Uh, all right, so to give you an idea how much we drive all the time, we bought this truck less than 24 hours. About 22 hours ago, we bought this truck. We had pretty much one day to find a trailer. I was trying to find a, a new one or a used one because the rest of our time's booked out and we have three vehicles up here right now. Stuff to do, places to be. Yeah, so I literally I literally scoured the internet, was trying to find a used one or a new one. Couldn't find a new one for the life of me anywhere within like a 12 hour drive. So this trailer I found on the border of Nevada, Nevada, Nevada and California. He drove nine hours, we drove nine hours, picked up the trailer, we are over 1,200 miles. So 22 hours, 1,200 miles, 50% of that is pretty much towing. Yeah. That's that's gonna be, that, that's our <laughs> life right now. That's gonna be our life right now. Except it'll be loaded up next. So we've officially introduced you to the brand new Ram 3500, aka Child Support. And of course, you all are very familiar with the stepchild. And we've also introduced you to our brand new PJ 37 foot long gooseneck trailer. Well, brand new to be, us. The well, brand new to us. It's a used trailer. But now it's new to the channel, which as we explained, we'll be trailering not just the stepchild around the country, but also... Dun, 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 dun. Let me also introduce to you the foster child, AKA our brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport, which we picked up literally yesterday at AutoNation Chrysler Jeep West in Golden, Colorado. For everyone who's like, AutoNation, ooh, boo. So we bought the step towel there, the second step towel there, and now the Gladiator there. We've always had a fantastic experience and it's always because of Darcy Glasscock. Guys, if you're looking for a new Jeep or a Chrysler, Hit up Darcy over at Auto Nation Jeep Chrysler West in Golden. Guys, this is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator that Kevin and I are going to build over the next several months and then eventually give away 
to one of you lucky guys. Which is why it's named Foster Child. Which is why it's named the Foster Child. we're only fostering we're it. We're fostering it just for a few months before <laughs> it belongs to one of y'all. Now you might have noticed that we're here at Northridge 4x4 in Denver, Colorado, which we've actually brought the stepchild to before and they've done an incredible job. So one thing that we've decided to do with the foster child here is we're gonna try to do this build through Northridge 4x4 products because remember, we have a light bright discount code which can get you up to 20% off. So if there's anything on this Gladiator that you guys like and you want for your own Jeeps or your own rigs, you can hopefully get a discount and save a ton of money. And of course, it gives us the perfect opportunity to do a little more traveling because Northridge 4x4 has shops, not just in Colorado, but also in Utah and Washington. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start this teardown, take it around back, and I'm gonna go over this giveaway a little bit more in detail. All right, so we've also had a ton of questions about this Jeep Gladiator giveaway, and you'll be happy to know I've got a little more information for you now than I did previously. So we've actually hired a company to help us run the sweepstakes. So they'll be writing the official rules to make sure everything's legal. Unfortunately, that means that the giveaway won't officially start until February. However, a massive pro to this also means that all of our Canadian friends, you guys are included. That means if you live in Canada or the United States, you have the opportunity to potentially win this gladiator. Except for... Except for Quebec. Quebec. And I don't know why, I don't know what y'all's laws are, but for some reason, y'all have weird laws and you can't technically enter to win. But everywhere else in Canada, you absolutely can. Now, we'll go into how you can win entries once the giveaway itself actually starts. But in the meantime, I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and get this thing torn down so we can start the first phase, phase one of this Gladiator build, which will include, of course, lift, tires, and wheels. But you'll have to wait until next time to figure out what exactly those are. Guys, we love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all of your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com, all of your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. We love you, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> This place. Okay, what's going on, Britt? I'm gonna graffiti someone else's Jeep today. <laughs> well, whose? Are you gonna at least, you know, at least introduce them, or are you what just is, gonna get right at it? Jeep's name? Clark. Oh, like Clark has in Superman. Oh, oh yeah. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I'm a little slow on the uptake. I apologize. And what what were y'all's names? Uh, Jeff. Jeff. And Jeff. Stephanie. And Stephanie. Together Jeff. we're Jeffany. Jeffany. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they have asked Kevin and I to sign their dash. Oh, me Jeep. too? I will. Not just you? Let me click. Kevin. Just Kevin too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right here? Okay. Yeah. 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 I even rock your banner. Oh, you do? Yeah.